Okay, so uh, we have 10 hours in this Ellis tractor, and uh, my father-in-law was mowing the lawn, and a, uh, the, the fuel light was blinking, so you had to look that up. Um, according to the manual, that means there's water in the bottom of the fuel filter. And it's not really easy to videotape where that is, so I'm at the front of the tractor, and I'm going to zoom right in now. That's right in the middle here, and the back right in the middle of the frame here. So we're going to uh, drain the water out, prime the system up according to the manual, and uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen again. Now, how the water got in the fuel, that's uh, you know, either condensation or you know, from, the, from the gas station. So we're not sure yet. If we keep on getting fuel from the same place and keeps on doing that, we'll not get fuel from the same place anymore. Um, yeah, so we're going to get in there, and I might be able to move the camera over a tiny bit more and get, get it, but it's, it's back behind the, uh, cowling a little bit, and it's hard to see, uh, with the camera. So I'm going to try, yeah, he's pointing at it right now, so I'm going to try to see if I can get a better angle. Okay, so after, uh, trying to find a good camera angle, um, I found lift in the bucket gave us the best view. So right in the middle here is um, the fuel filter, that silver canister. On the bottom of it there's a wing nut um, that uh, should allow us to draw some fuel off um, and water. So like I said, we're not sure why the water's in there, but we're going to get it out and then we'll reprime the system. So we're getting the container right now. Once I get that, I'll bleed it out. Okay, so I got a little cup here, a cup underneath, catch any fuel, and there's a little wing nut in the bottom. There's any fuel coming out, so I'm going to try pumping it and see if I can. Okay. It looks like diesel to me. It doesn't look like water. You can see that drip coming out the bottom. That's out of that hole I just pulled out this wing nut. I'm going to drain off a little bit just because. I got about a, a half an inch or quarter inch in this cup. It looks like diesel. Might be water mixed in, I'm not sure. But I will plunge up that, uh, that fitting. Bye. It's kind of an awkward location. I can't see what I'm doing. Right. There. Okay. okay. Smells like diesel. Thank you. Let's see if I can use yeah, you're not going to see it. Smells like diesel, looks like diesel. A little bit of particulate and floaties in there. So, we'll let it sit and see if water settles up to the top or the bottom. I don't know if diesel's heavier than water or not. But, uh, it took off about a quarter to a half an inch or three eighths 
of uh, fuel. So now we have to prime up the system. And in order to do that, we turn the key on and pump. So let's do that next. at the pump. I can feel the pump pumping. It didn't really give me an indicator of how many times you should pump. So. So. That's probably enough. Let's see how it starts. You're going to be sitting on the seat probably. Yeah, Okay, so it starts, uh, I'm assuming that's all set. And uh, you know, I'm, we'll watch the fuel and see if we keep on getting that sensor to come on. So that'll mean one of two things. If I don't see any water in the fuel, it might mean the sensor's bad and we'll, we'll let the dealer know and get a new one uh, under warranty. Or, uh, you know, oh, if, if, we start, if we see water, we might have to change our fuel supplier. Um, but that's how we, uh, that's how you the water out of the fuel system and reprime it uh, on the LSX XR series um, and specifically the XR4040. So, until next time, thanks for watching.